Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes. We were studying chapter 9 of class 6 and the chapter name is Internet Online Surfing. The topic today is potential threats while using internet and this is third part of chapter 9, right? So let's begin the topic. So what is threat? A threat can be described as a possible danger to security. These threats can be intentional or accidental. As we know that computers and internet has become an integral part of our lives. So be it um, booking your ticket online, accessing your bank accounts. We are using internet and computer every day, almost every time. And while we are on internet, we will be facing many threats. So we should be aware of all those. So therefore, it is of utmost importance to be vigilant while using internet and giving away your personal details. So let's begin with the first threat. First is spyware. It is a type of software that secretly collects information about an online user. So what all information this spyware will collect? It will, it will monitor the habits of the users and steal the information about, about visited web pages, email addresses, passwords, credit card numbers, etc. Right? So it acts, this software or this threat act as a spy and it secretly collects the habitual information like which web page every day you are visiting uh, which account you are accessing so next is spamming email spamming involves sending unwanted message or undesirable advertisement to large number of recipient when we open our email account we see spam mails in our account so how this is threat to our system we should know that so spam is a serious threat as it can be used to deliver emails that could contain trojans horses trojan horses viruses worms spyware and other attacks aimed at obtaining sensitive information right so the email will contain this spam email can contain various other types of threats so when we see a spam mail in our account we should not open it and we should directly delete it right next is scareware it is a malware which pops up a window informing the user that system is infected and asks for a fee to clean it right so we have seen many times when we are online a pop-up window comes to the screen and it informs that your system is infected and we should immediately clean it and ask for fee to clean it so it is what this careware is doing it is tricking the user to click a link which in background will download a malicious program right so its purpose is to uh, fake it it purpose is to misguide you that your system is infected but is its but its intention is to download the malicious program on your system the fourth is malware malware is a short form of malicious software it includes viruses worms and trojans right now how it works how it acts it initially behave as a scareware and generates a pop-up message that tricks the user and results in downloading a malicious program in the same way that we read in scareware it will give an information that your computer system is infected with a virus or trojan and it require immediate attention and cleaning if we click on the pop-up window what it can do it can reformat our hard drive and cause loss of information right so this malicious software will do harm to our system next is viruses viruses is a program that secretly embed on a computer system to store to steal corrupt or destroy data is known as computer viruses it can change the functioning of computer and can spread to other computer 
also right so it steals corrupts and destroy the data that is called viruses next is trojans trojan is a malicious program that embed that embeds itself into legitimate software and pretend to be harmless application now it it act as that it is a part of legitimate software the legalized software the authorized software and pretend to be harmless application and it like all the softwares are executable files we execute them and install to our system in the same way this trojan horse also is a executable file which will install itself and run automatically once it is downloaded right it has ability to hide itself from antivirus detection so it is very very dangerous trojan horse can delete your file record your usernames passwords and other use and other useful information by logging keystrokes or use your computer to hack other computers so it is very dangerous if this trojan horse get installed or get or becomes a part of your computer system unlike viruses trojan horse do not replicate themselves so virus replicate themselves it means it makes a copy of itself but trojan horse do not replicate it directly destroy the files and records next is ransomware these ransomware it is related to a scareware so scareware pops up a window and shows that the computer is infected in the same way this ransomware is related to scareware as it also give a fraudulent warning regarding the system being infected it installs malware means malicious softwares that demands payments and either block the access to the system or threatens to wipe out the files if payment is not being made right so life like the banks uh, like the big hospitals they have a huge records of patients and customers so if these kind of ransomware software get installed it can hack the entire system it can block the access to the software so these are very dangerous so the eighth one is worms worms are common threat to computer a worm unlike virus attacks a computer on its own without attaching itself to a file or program means worms works independently it do not require any other file or program to get associated in in order to install on the system it takes place in your computers it takes a place in your computer's memory and propagate by sending itself to other computer in the network it occupies the computer's memory right and it travels from one system to another using the internet using the network it means it will affect the computer speed as well as the network speed how because due to the heavy consumption of a system memory or the network bandwidth right so next is key logger key loggers it is a program that record to get important information what kind of important information such as password fraudulently means it 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 is a fraud it makes fraud entry to the system and get steals the information the next is cookie cookie is a text message given to the web browser by web server the web browser saves this user specific data in a text file and it steals cookies is it's a kind of record it's a kind of record that your system your web browser keeps and these files are otherwise safe but if a hacker or unauthorized person gets access to the cookies it can be harmful right so it is always advised to delete these files time to time right so otherwise it is safe to keep this record this text file on your system or your on your web browser but if it is if or unauthorized user or hacker gets access to the cookies it can steal the user's information right so students i hope you have understood it was authentication information about various kinds of threats that we face 
while we are working on internet and um, in the next video we will understand netiquettes now what is netiquettes like in order to behave in the society we learns various etiquettes and manners so to work on internet we should know netiquettes so in the next video we will learn about netiquettes till then take care goodbye and god bless you all